you know that, oh, Arsenal, did you not surprise me today? Yeah, the whole park will be filled. Arsenal, yeah, Arsenal, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's real loyalty right there. When you know your team is still losing, but your chanting keep going. The inception of loyalty. The inception of disloyalty. The genesis of disloyalty. I mean the foundation of disloyalty. The origination of disloyalty. The, the beginning of all disloyalties. Where it all starts. If you see somebody showing disloyalty now, I'll show you where they have, who their father is. Oh yeah. If you see any, any friend, anybody around you showing this, I'll tell you who their grandfather is. <laughs> Turn your Bibles to Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12 to 14. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12 to 14. Isaiah 14, 12 to 14. And the Bible reads and says, How thou art falling from heaven, O oh, Lucifer, son of the morning. When somebody is speaking and they, they use that expression, oh, it means they're in deep pain. How thou art falling, O oh, Lucifer, son of the morning. How you are cut down from the ground. You who once upon a time used to weaken nations. When they heard your name, nations were weakened. For you said in your heart, this is what you said in your heart, Lucifer, that I, pride, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation. On the farthest side of the north, I will ascend above the heights of the cloud and I will be like Jehovah. You are the most high. I will be like the most high. Ezekiel 28, 2 to 19. Ezekiel 28, 2 to 19. And I read, Son of man, Say to the prince of Tyre, Thus says the Lord God, Because your heart is lifted up and you say, I am a God. I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the sea. Yet you are a man and not a God. Though you set your heart as the heart of a God, behold you are wiser than Daniel. It's a question. Are you wiser than Daniel? Because Daniel was one of the wisest men on earth. So it's supposed to be a question mark. Behold, are you wiser than Daniel? There is no secret that was hidden from you. So now, whoever wrote this version of the New King James, did it, but it's a question. Behold, are you wiser? Whatever you say you are, are you wiser than Daniel? That we gave the gift of wisdom uh, that, and but there was no secret so remember this there was no secret that can be hidden from you with your wisdom and your understanding you gave you gained riches for yourself so we gave you wisdom and understanding and you used that to gain riches for yourself and gathered gold and silver in your treasuries by your great wisdom in the trade you have increased your riches so we gave you the wisdom and you have increased your riches and your heart is lifted up pride because of riches so because of what we made you become your heart is now lifted up pride because of what we made you we made you precious Please get me. Be, follow me. Because of what we made you become. Because of how we made you. The view we gave you in, in, in before people. You have now become arrogant. And so you have lifted up your heart. Because you're rich. 
Therefore, thus says the Lord, I will bring strangers to you, against you, the most terrible of nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of your wisdom and defile your splendor. They shall throw you down into the pit. The nations that you used to weaken, they will throw you down into the pit and you shall die the death of the slain in the midst of the sea. You Will you still stand and say, will you still say before him who slay you, I am a God, but you shall be a man. So we will change you from being supernatural to natural. Will you still stay before who we have released you to? That I am a God that has fallen from heaven. No, you will be, come back, come back. What are you rushing for? But you shall be a man and not a God. So before then, he was a God. But because of his pride, he's been brought to the level of a man. So God is saying to him that I'm bringing you to the level of man and ordinary men will defeat you and will you still say to them that I am a God? So he says, but you shall be a man and not a God. In the hands of him who slay you, you shall die the death of the uncircumcised by the hands of strangers. For I have spoken, says the Lord. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation for the king of Tyre and say to him, Thus says the Lord, now this is very deep, God now speaking, saying to Lucifer, that you were a seal of perfection, a seal of perfection, Full of wisdom. So remember that the wisdom that he's talking about, that's it, that's it right here. Full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Perfect in beauty. Now remember this. You were in Eden, past tense. Not you are. You were in. So when Eden was being created, he was there. That's why he knew how to get to Eve. Because he had the architectural plan of Eden. That's it right there. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering. Then God goes further. Lady Daisy, where's my face towel? Then God goes further to describe all the precious stones. That was his covering. Now, the Bible only labeled the most precious. But God said all. Oh. So any precious stone that you've heard about and not heard about, it was with him. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone, every. Expensive and all less. Every precious stone was your covering. The sadias, the topas. The diamond, the onyx, the jasper, the sapphire, the turquoise, the emerald with gold. So emerald was mixed with gold. Oh, Cardido, when you read your Bible, don't be in a rush. Emerald was mixed. I want to see an emerald stone mixed with gold. Emerald with gold. Then he says, the workmanship of your timbers and pipes was prepared for you the day you were created so before you came into existence we had created your pipes oh god somebody follow me i'm gonna i'm gonna land so deep you wear you wear the anointed cherub who covers hear this i established you god speaking Tells him, I established you. I established you. I established you. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked back and forth in the midst of fiery stones. Remember this. You were 
perfect in your ways from the day you were created till iniquity was found in you. By the abundance of your trading, you became filled with violence with, within and you sinned. Now, let me leave it there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the devil we see here on earth that we term and call Satan is not who was in heaven. It's not the person that was in heaven or the spirit that was in heaven. The one that was in heaven was Lucifer. The one that was on earth is, is on earth is Satan. Now, Lucifer, the person that is being addressed, means light, morning star, the bearer and the bringer of light. Lucifer is derived from the Latin word lux, with lux or lux, which means light, and ferre, which means bring. So the one who brings light. Now, he lived in heaven with God. He was the anointed cherub or the archangel that covered, guarded, and protected God's throne. Lucifer guarded, protected. That was what he was created for. He was the first worshiper ever to be created. Lucifer was the first worshiper ever to be created. Every worshiper is supposed to have light inside of you. So light was given to him to penetrate every darkness. So when he lifted up symphony, the workmanship of his timbrels and his pipe was created for him. So inside his wings was worship music. Was the royal symphony when he began to flap his wings God in his be the beauty of his holiness will melt down because God doesn't have a weakness but what really weakens God is worship what twists is God's arm towards you is worship God can choose not to give you a miracle but in worship when you lay down in tears God can take a blessing that he wants to give to Saul and move it to a David worship can get God to change his mind concerning a situation oh I'm not dealing with worship I'll get there Lucifer was the protocol officer. Before you speak to God, you must go through Lucifer. Lucifer, please be seated. Lucifer was given everything he needed. He, everything he needed was given to him to stand by God. And to stand before God. When he needed to go before God in worship, he knew which wing to adorn on him. I worship you, almighty God. There is none like you. He wakes God up with worship. God doesn't eat no food but worship. I worship you, oh prince of peace. That is what I want to do. I give you praise every moment, every second, every minute, every hour. It was his duty to give God worship. Oh God. Every instrument you could think about, seen, known, unknown and unseen, was molded in gold and adorned. So we see the keyboards as black and white, right? But Lucifer's own was in gold. Oh, you're not getting it. I wish you could give me a second of your brain. Let me download heaven for you. Jaden, play that, what, that which is before you. Play it. Play it. 
That was in gold. Play those drums. That was in gold. Play those big guitars. That was in gold. In gold. In gold. But not just that. Because God is fire. Oh, because God is the consuming fire. Nothing natural or artificial can come before fire and stand still. Fire destroys both the natural and artificial. So Lucifer was made fire. And in that fire radiated light. That's why when you get closer to the sun, you burn. Because the sun is made of fire. And fire gives light. Oh, let me not delve deeper. Fire releases light. 2,000 years ago when there was no electricity, the access for light or things that gave way was fire. So Lucifer called light at that time. They didn't use electricity. So he was fire. It was when he sinned that the same fire that was given to him was taken out of him and he was burnt with that fire. Can I go deeper tonight? So it says here that you walked on fiery stones. What it means is because you were made fire, you were able to dwell with fire and fire wouldn't consume you. That's why the other day in the book of Nazar made a mistake putting the three Hebrew boys in fire. Oh, because God became the consuming fire. So he turned the boys into fire. You don't mess up with God. You put Daniel in the lion's den when he's the lion of the tribe of Judah. All he had to do was turn Daniel into another lion. You don't mess up with God. Listen, Lucifer was always seen with God. Every time he had an experience with God, he was compelled to express himself in the act of worship. Every time he had an encounter, an experience with God, he was compelled he was compelled to express himself because the reason of his creation was to worship God. Through instruments and songs, he would lead the angels in crying, holy. Listen, in heaven at that time, Lucifer was the real deal. He didn't walk with ordinary angels. They called him, that's the bright morning star walking there. No, no, no. He's not on some level. He doesn't move with some clicks. So, God lamenting says, you were a seal of perfection. God says to him, you were a seal of perfection. This means that God didn't make any mistake. Oh, God when he was being created and God said you were full of wisdom perfect in beauty if God says your beauty is perfect I, 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 I'm looking for an artist that can help me draw Lucifer God said you are perfect in beauty ha Then God says, every, so besides your beauty, we adorn you with every stone. Carlo, no, I wish you can imagine it. Be, so you're beautiful, handsome, cute, pretty. Then we now, when you walk, you begin to glitter. Oh, God. The gold he had don't had no carrot. 
Lucifer had it all. And none was created like him, Caleb. And the angels feared him. He was mighty and powerful. But greed, greed got hold of him. Greed got hold of him. Ladies and gentlemen, the first character trait of disloyalty is greed. Greed. Greedy people are never satisfied or content with what they have or they've been given. In fact, what they don't know is you didn't have much, but you shared. However, they want the little you have as well. Greedy people don't know that you are managing situations. However, they want to look like you. They want to dress like you. They want to talk like you. And when they can't get what you are doing or reach the heights you are doing, they start destroying. Oh, can I now? I'm now preaching. I just started preaching. Greed is the order of the day. That's the first character trait of disloyalty. Greed. Never satisfied. So in Isaiah 14, 12, 14, God says, how thou art falling, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How you are cut down to the ground, you who look weak in nations. For you said in your heart, Lucifer, you said in your heart that I will us. You, you said it. So you didn't say it loud. You only said it here. Oh, call them more. You, 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 didn't, you, didn't, you didn't tell people. You only thought about it. But God is the all-knowing God. The all-seeing God. May God expose people who have ulterior motive around you. May God expose it when they think it in their heart. May God reveal it to you in your dream. The, the, the other day I told God I want to know my enemies. God said, are you sure son? I said, yeah. He said, go to bed. I went to bed. And when he showed me four people that are still smiling with me, yet they wish I was, I, I, I wept when I wake up. God said, I told you that you're not ready. Son, you still have to behave normal. You still have to smile. So God says, for you have said in your heart that I will ascend into the heavens. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. So, so God is telling what he said in his heart. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. So over here, it shows that Lucifer was given a throne. I will exalt my throne. Not my seat. My throne. So he was made a king, yet he was not satisfied. Oh, Koshada. Can I, can I go in deeper? Greed is the beginning of disloyalty. And then he says, I will sit on the mount of the congregation. This means that every time he led the angels in worship and the other angels congregated around God and worshipped God, he wished it was for him. So he says in his heart, I will sit. Oh. on the mount of congregation so on the mount so what happened is the more you exhort God the more God is lifted high be lifted high be lifted high be lifted high above the earth so you see 
Aliko, I see it now. When worship starts, God is below. But the more you lift worship, the more God is exalted. The more God is lifted above the mount of the congregation. So when you worship God, God now lifts up and looks at you down. The beauty of his splendor, his majesty, his power reigns and rules. So the devil, Satan said, Lucifer said, I will sit on the mount. That seat that makes him beautiful beyond description. I want that seat. And then he says, on the farther side of the north. So he had done survey. On the farther side of the north. <laughs> and then he says, I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. So when God is lifted up, he ascends. Oh, konana ma. When you lift up worship in the beauty of his holiness, God ascends. God swells above the cloud. So everything he is describing is what God becomes when you lift him in worship. I will ascend above the house. So as you lift him up on earth, he begins to ascend. He begins to widen them. The whole cloud cannot contain him. The whole cloud. So he ravels the clouds and he uses it as curtains in heaven. My God, be lifted up in my worship. The more you press him deeper, the higher you lift him up. The higher you lift him up, the further he takes you. And then what does he say? I will be like the most high the most high because nobody has ever risen higher than him that's why he's called the most high when he dwells in your worship he rises up to a degree that nobody can fathom or be matched angels can rise high but the one who rises higher than the highest is Elohim so he says if I can get the worship that Elohim is getting that worship will lift me up and I will be like the oh can I delve in deep so that's why on earth he told the most high that if you can only worship me you don't need to die just worship me and I'll give you the earth. Because he knows that what exalts God and lifts God is worship. That's how David could lock God's hands. You're beautiful beyond description to marvelous for words. Too wonderful for comprehension as nothing ever seen or heard. Who can stand your infinite wisdom? Who can fathom the depth of your love? You are beautiful beyond description, majesty and throne above. I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you. Holy God to you, all praise is due. I stand in awe of you. Even the cloud cannot host him when he, he spreads his wings. When you lift him up in worship, he spreads so wide that he moves from heaven and the earth becomes his footstool. ever seen the biggest thing on earth then God is bigger than the biggest if you ever seen the strongest man on earth then he's stronger than the strong if if you ever seen the highest person then he is the most high at the mention of that name every knee bows 
the unquestionable God. When he says yes, nobody questions him. When he says no, nobody can doubt him, including the witches in your house. Tonight, what he has said concerning you shall come to pass. Whatever he has said concerning you, I don't care who was holding on you, it shall come to pass. Somebody shout Jesus. I feel God here. 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 I stand, I stand in awe of you. Lord, I stand, I stand in awe. And if you feel like singing in even your dialect, on your make a see comfortable. Any language, any language. Silly Jiro Jiro any language he understands it. Any language, any language, any language, swai, anything, whatever you lift up, it just swells them up. Whatever you say, I worship you, I lift you up, I magnify you. That's why when you come to church and worship, don't fold your hands. You got to open your mouth and lift him up above your circumstance, above your situation. You come and when the worship leader says, lift your holy hands. another person will take over your place you must prove your relevance on earth if you don't prove your relevance on earth God will bypass you because there are billions of people attempting to attract his attention you are not bigger than anybody I will ascend keep it on one son I will ascend above the heights of the cloud and I'll be like the host, most high. So he described how when he worships God, what happens to God. And he said, I, I, I want to be like that. So it means that when angels joined him in worship, he liked it. He, he wanted it for himself. Do you know that it's not everybody that's around you that's really for you? I know that it's not everybody saying Papa, Papa, that's a... Some people come around you because they need something. And so they behave like angels. But they carry the Luciferian spirit. And the, 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 the interesting thing is there's a time tag on their head. If you're able to frustrate them, ah, ah, they'll come out. Lady J, don't mention names. They'll come out because they have a time tag on them. May God give you the spirit of discernment. May you smell them from afar. Maybe two years ago you were deceived, but this year your spirit will tell you, don't open your door to this person. Don't open your house to this person. Somebody shout, God expose them. A young man who was my friend some 25 years, 20 years ago, he was a very bad friend, naughty friend. Very bad friend. I kid you not. I've never seen a human being that can behave like that. No, no, I kid you not. And he came back and apologized, Caleb. And I actually forgave him. He asked me to beg a pastor for a loan. I helped him. He said, I've got to help the church. After he got the loan, he disappeared again. So I knew that this is Luciferian spirit. Do you know it's not everybody preaching Jesus that carries the real spirit of Jesus? The easiest avenue to deceive people is holding the mic on the pulpit. The easiest way to deceive people is pretend you're a pastor. Sit on Facebook, put your phone on, put your Facebook on, and start giving fake prophecies. Everybody will follow you. 
No, no, no. That's the easiest way. Easiest way of making money. Be hungry for a month. After a month, learn how to speak a few tongues. Wow. Sit on Facebook. Be consistent for one month. Wow. So they can, we can track it that for one month you've been the same. Wow. Everybody will follow you. Yeah. Because everybody wants quick fix. Microwave miracle. Like you sitting down, and the people now find it hard to sit down in church. Like I'm wasting your time. No. With the knowledge I'm feeding with, you should be waiting for me to come. You're in a hurry to go home to watch the series. You know now, next place does series. So you want to be quick to go watch the whole series. Go on Facebook for three hours. The devil is wasting your time. Precious time. I was sharing with Debbie yesterday that the ancient of days that the old man that is in your house is 200 years. You started getting your life better a year ago. You want things to turn over? Yet you're impatient. You rather give the pastor pressure. Somebody said, I can't come to Rockville anymore. You take too long. Listen, if you check my itinerary, if it's not the spirit of God that takes over me, I should be closing by now. I kid you not. But when I look around and I see death knocking at your door. I must do something. Yet you are the one telling me I'm taking too long. So God has had his own share of disloyalty. If you want to talk about real disloyalty, God knows. Oh, I didn't finish with that young man. So he vanishes and then later on he changes his name to one big apostle. Me, I didn't know that his name has changed. I didn't know who ordained him. I don't know. And then he, that's why I I keep telling all of you, anybody that says I know your your spirit, your Dr. Badu, tell them he doesn't know you. Because where I'm coming from in Africa, anybody knows anybody is a lie. One of our members falls as a victim. But she had the purpose. She wanted to be a pastor by force. Ah! So they meet. Birds of the same feathers. And they confuse their owner. Because the owner don't know which one is blue and which one is white. Same feathers. Today they have a church in Atlanta right here. Oh yeah. Same agenda. It's called the Luciferian spirit. May God expose them to you. So Lucifer was determined. He was adamant. He wanted his father's throne. So number one, he started telling lies about God. And everybody that walked around God or everybody that was around heaven saw him as the closest to God. So the Bible says one third of the angels followed him. He was telling lies. Hey, all of you get ready. Your God won't kill you all. God wants to destroy you all. I'm your savior. Listen, I've heard all of you. Don't you believe me? I'm the one that stays with him. If I don't lift worship, he won't move. Listen to me. All of you, be careful. Lies! Number two, first trait of disloyalty is greed. Second, lies. They can create any scenario and they make so much sense. If you don't find out for yourself, you follow the fallen angels. It makes sense because they are the ones in the room. They know how to create stories and accuse. They know how to fabricate stories. Remember that their father Satan is the accuser of all brethren. But their ultimate goal is to steal your destiny. Kill your destiny. And destroy your destiny. So can you, can you imagine what happened to the one third of the angels who followed him? Believing that God would have destroyed them. 
their destinies were cut off. So they will convince you to follow them with a mindset of attempting to destroy you. May God expose them to you. At your workplace. In your marriage. In your environment. It might be a mother-in-law. It might be a father-in-law. It might be a friend close to the marriage. Whoever it is, may God expose them. Lucifer, if you don't take care and you, you trust your marriage with people, they will tell lies on that marriage and make sure you lose it like how they've lost theirs. Oh yeah, I'm preaching. I know I'm preaching, baby girl. I'm preaching good. Most marriages have broken up, not because it was supposed to, but you trusted that friend. But if if you were to put the phone on and all of you were hearing the different tongues that were speaking to you and to him, you will speak in tongues and fear humanity. Luciferian spirit. That's why marriage couples, anything happen, keep it indoors. If you don't talk, don't talk in the house. When you step out, pretend you are talking. Because that Luciferian spirit, for all you know, how your wife treats you, he envies it. For all you know, how your husband treats you, she envies it. So they wished you would drop to their level. But because they know the right word to say. Who told you Lucifer didn't know what to say? At the white third of angels, idiots to follow him. He knew the word. He, he had every answer to their questions. And why wouldn't you believe it? He's always with God. He's called light. Kanaratoshi. Most of you has, have lost that place in the office. Not because you, you wanted to lose it. But because there was a Luciferian spirit carrying this loyalty. That they have said in their heart they want to be disloyal. They just need people to help them. You will not join such company. No, you're not hearing. You will not join such company. If they come to you, you tell them, mind your business. Tell them you are on your own. They know they will go down. But they will never go down alone. Lucifer knew. There was, he knows God too much. In, he knows God enough to know. That even as he was breathing and thinking. God, God So he just he knew he was making his way to earth. He just needed people to join him. So he's given them temporary business. Becoming demons. And principalities. But their time is numbered. And they will never operate around you. By the blood of the Lamb. Ah, I feel God. I feel God so powerful here. What Lucifer didn't know was that the all knowing God, the all seeing God, the one who sees everything and everyone, but no one sees him, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. The first and the last, the mighty one knew the intent of his heart. God literally gave him time to repent, but Lucifer was willing not to repent. So war broke out in heaven, Revelations 12, 7. And the Bible says Michael and his angels fought the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought, and they could not prevail, nor any place found for them any longer. So the dragon, the great dragon, was cast out, the serpent of old, called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. He was cast onto the earth. 10 says, then I heard a loud voice, Revelations 12, 7, and going to 10 say then I heard a loud voice saying now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ has come for the accuser of the brethren who accuses them before God day and night has been cast out and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the words of their testimony tonight in the name of Jesus every work of the enemy around you has been destroyed by the blood of the lamb i don't know 
who are talking to uh, but any spirit of Lucifer around you uh, by the blood of the Lamb I destroy it in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus any evil that is planned around you uh, any evil that is planned around you uh, they will never see the dawn of the day may your enemies go blind whatever they are plotting whatever they are plotting against your destiny may they go blind if they want to attack you let their ways be slippery let their ways be sloppy if they speak against you let them swallow their tongue in the name of Jesus if they mention your name if they call your name let the angels of defense strike them by fire by fire by fire by fire if they call your name let them catch fire as you clap your hands any enemy carrying the spirit of lucifer attempting to destroy to kill everything god is doing wanting to become like you wanting to live like you wanting to smile like you wanting to talk like you wanting the congregation you have ah, let them catch fire somebody shall fire shout it louder they are sitting down they don't know how you working overnight but they want to be like you tonight in the name of Jesus let them catch fire somebody shall fire the same fire that burned the devil let the same fire burn that devil anyone with the traits of Lucifer anyone around you that carries the spirit of betrayal the spirit of jealousy the spirit of envious the spirit of greed smiling walking holding your hands yet they are the first to stop you let them catch fire shell fire shell fire 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 shout it out tonight in the name of jesus i speak on your life i speak on your destiny any attempt to assassinate you will fail any enemy that wants to assassinate you let them die by fire shall fire 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 clap your hands shall fire in the name of jesus your career anybody that wants to betray you anybody that wants to tell lies about you catch fire 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 of the holy ghost anybody speaking about your marriage wanting your marriage to go down fire serious you better get serious you better wake up you better rise up enough is enough enough of betrayal enough of trusting people tonight receive the spirit of discernment you will smell them you will know them you will see them you will know Cause 
that he was going to get married to. He died. I was at the funeral. Uh, very painful because his parents couldn't travel to see their son buried. They had to watch on Facebook. Two years later, the girl, the girl that, the, the, the fiancé marries the young man's best friend. And they have kids now. <laughs> there is no way I'll marry my best friend's wife when I know he died and she saw him die. <laughs> but I guess he became a special comforter. Trust no one. So whilst he was alive, when he was telling you about his girl, you were like, yeah, go on, girl. But you wished. <laughs> and some people wished they had what you had. It says that they've mastered the art of smiling. Praise God. Any friend that when you have problems in your relationship, they're the first to tell you, baby, leave that relationship. <laughs> Watch them very well. No, I kid you not. Any friend that says, hey, 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 come, come. Leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him. But watch that person. They don't like what you have. They carry the Luciferian spirit. Yes, baby. Years ago, I was dating this girl. And I was telling my wife, she, she would tell you all my girlfriends, ex-girlfriend. Ex I was dating this girl and um, the, the girl's mother said I was a demon. And the, and the girl's mother would go to every pastor and tell them that my daughter is dating a demon. So one pastor invited me and said, I want to sit down with you. And I want to know what's going on. So I went to the house and we spoke. 
And then two days later, I was with my girlfriend. And the pastor called my girl. And every I was shocked at the lies he was telling. And he didn't know I was on the other line. He said, I spoke to him. And he's from the devil. You got to stay away. Thank God I stayed away because I didn't have met my wife. <laughs> Lucifer had everything that nobody ever had. Every stone was adorned, yet he wanted to be like the Most High. He was the very person that was close to God, yet he was the one that was attempting his assassination. That's why you got to be careful who's around you. That's why a lot of associate pastors that you lifted up, raised, are now finding their own branches. Come on now. Because when they hear people say, Papa, 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 they want to be called Papa too. Yeah. So they leave prematurely. Without taking the full blessing, Lot left Abraham prematurely. That's why he ended up in Sodom and Gomorrah. May God help us. Disloyalty creates confusion. Disloyalty creates confusion. Because Lucifer was disloyal to God, he created confusion between the angels and God. That's why war broke out in heaven. Disloyalty breaks relationships. Those who were worshiping God lost their relationship with God. Because they will tell the story according to how they want you to believe and not the truth. And so it breaks relationship. That's why you have to be careful who you want to give your ears and your eyes to. Because if you're not strong, they'll help you to lose your faith. Disloyalty will always look for people to join them. They don't go down alone. They don't go down alone. Lucifer didn't go down on his own. He went down with one third of the angels. Did they know, not know God? Yes, they did. But he managed to convince them of what? Or he managed to give them a picture of who God was. In conclusion tonight, I pray that you will not be counted amongst the disloyal people in the books at your workplace in the books of your family and in the books of your marriage and in the books of your church you will not be counted amongst the disloyal people and I pray for this church that may all disloyals be exposed and I pray for you that anyone that is disloyal around you may they be exposed Anyone around your life that is that knows you too well. One young man was serving me. He served me. I, I loved him. I loved him. He would come and tell me everything, truth, lie about this man of God. But what shook me one day was I woke up and I looked on social media. And the same people he was talking about, he was in their house. And he also told different stories about me. 
I was shocked. And it was his wife that knew everything he was saying was a lie. Because he was also disloyal to his own wife. Why? He was desperate to become a superstar. So anything and anyone that he will get, I will be like the most high. He went to the extent to tell people that I was begging him to even sing with him. Me, Sonny Badu. Was begging him to sing with him and he said no. Yet, I prayed for you and your album you released. Everything you were trying to sing, you were trying to sing like me. I will be like the most high. We still experience disloyalties in our generation. Not like how God did, but in our own context, we do. Tonight, my prayer for you is that prayer. That no one around you carries the spirit of Lucifer. Where everything you've worked hard for, there will be that enemy that will cause you to pray a new prayer topic. Rise up on your feet, everybody. It's important to pray this prayer because some of you are toiling so hard, working so hard. Your hearts are so open that you open up to everybody. And then later on you discover that this was Lucifer himself. A lot of ministries have crumpled down. A lot of pastors have heard. Some of you will say, oh, he left that pastor and he's died. And the pastor curses everybody. No. The pastor remembers how he picked you up from nowhere. How he raised you and trained you. If you want to leave, leave the right way. I know some bishops that trusted their prophets with their multi-billionaires. And these prophets started talking against the, their father. And now they set up new churches. And all the multi-billionaires moved there. I know people who have left that their main pastor who raised them had cardiac arrest and almost died. Because they trusted them with their, 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 their givers. And when they see or hear, even when, now you try to call them and they don't even pick up your phone. Luciferian spirit. The people who demonstrated most are pastors. Are pastors. People are hurt. So now you cannot trust anybody. That's why pastors are now praying for their own sons to become pastors. Because guess what? His own son cannot betray him. If I picked you and I raised you, when the Luciferian spirit is entering, you remember where I picked you from. Please, remember and tell that devil, get thee behind me. If the devil had access to God concerning Job and also had access to Jesus through Peter, then as for you, the other day he spoke through Peter. Jesus looked and said, this is not God's fault. Get thee behind me, Satan. The other day the sons of men were going to and fro and, and Satan showed up and God said, what are you doing here? So he still has access to the corridors of heaven. So if Almighty and his son, the devil still has access, how much more you? That's why you cannot open up too easily to people because people are in your life. Some people are in your life for a season and a reason. Seasons will come and go. Reasons are permanent. So careful how you open up. Lift your hands. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're going to pray that prayer that God, this time round, give me the spirit of discernment. That's all you need if you want to prosper. Give me the spirit of discernment to fish out those who are for me and those who are against me. 
Open your mouth and begin to pray. God, open the eyes of my understanding. It's not everybody that smiles with you that really likes you. Sorry to burst your bubble. It's not everybody that says, hi, bestie, that really likes you. They hate it when they see your pictures and your images on social media. They hate it when they see you smile. They hate it when they see you laugh. They hate it when they see you in that car. They hate it when your wife holds your hands. They hate it when they see you with your kids. They hate it when they see and hear your songs. They wish you were down. But tonight, just as they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, I pray. And I release the same blood of the Lamb to expose and defeat every Luciferian spirit that is around you. Any spirit of disloyalty around you, let them be exposed. Come on, lift your voice. Any spirit of betrayal, any spirit of jealousy lingering, hanging around you, let them be. Come on, come on, lift your voice. Not this time. No more betrayals. No more, no more, no more betrayals. Lift your voice and pray. Any plot of the enemy, come on, church, lift your voice up. And they overcame him. So, if God defeated the enemy, then you have the capability and the ability to do it. Lift your voice, lift your voice, lift your voice. Lift your voice. Lift your voice. There are places you should have been, places you could have gone, that betrayal set you back. Some of you went for the interviews and they don't want to pick up your phone and you've been calling. They said they will help you, but now they're not picking up your phone. Somebody around you betrayed you. Somebody around you betrayed you. You met them. They said, yeah, we want to help you. But now they don't pick up your... No, somebody around you who carried the Luciferian spirit gave them a call and said, this is who you are. That's what Lucifer did. But God overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, pray that this year, August, September, October, November, December, five more months to go, your miracles must manifest. Your breakthroughs must manifest. I want to be like the Most High. That means that as he saw him lifted, he wished he was in his shoes. That means that those friends who are around you, is not everybody that same praise the Lord with you, that is really praising God with you. Oh my gosh. The other time, a young lady was pregnant. Hear the story. Pregnant for one, one year, eight months. And the baby wouldn't come out. So her own sister said, let's go to pastors. And she would lead the sister to prayers. And nobody could help. No doctor could help. So somebody else, not the sister, somebody else said, go to this prophet. When they got to this prophet, the prophet... The moment he met them, he said, hey, tell your sister what you've been doing before I expose you. Not knowing that her own sister was behind the child that was not coming. And she opened her mouth to say, yes, it's me. I've been behind it because every honor and glory that comes into this house, you're the one that takes it. I don't have no child. You're the one that has a good marriage. I don't have no marriage. So I held that child for one year eight months but she was the one that was holding her hands and said let's go pray <laughs> careful who you trust some of you have lost major breakthroughs because you're too much into friends there's a stage in your life where you must walk alone And when they call you, tell them you're trying to break through. You get back to them after you break through. But in this season, I got to walk alone. 
Because if they have an ulterior motive and you call them, they might say something that will make you change your mind. So you've got to be careful, Sekonya, of the Luciferian spirit that is lingering around you. Dr. Mo, it's not everybody that likes you. Stop crying that nobody likes me and understand that you're Joseph. Your ten brothers, not Benjamin, your ten brothers don't like you. You're, it's because you're Joseph. It's because they know what you carry, they don't carry. It's because they understand your dream. Some people understand your dream better than you understand yourself. That's why you gotta stop telling them your dreams. And I had a dream and my sheaves were above your sheaves and your sheaves went down and bowed before my sheaves. Oh. Shoo. That's why they buried him. But they didn't know he was the seed. And seeds got to be buried. So even when they buried him, God said, I got to make something out of you. I don't know who's been buried tonight because of betrayal. I can imagine Joseph being excited telling the dream to his own blood brothers. His own brothers. His, his own blood brothers. There was nothing wrong with it. His own brothers. Yet, they wanted what he had. Reuben, Judah, Levi, Judah, Isaac, Zebulon, All of them. God. All of them. They wanted what he had. They betrayed him. And they sold him to the Ishmaelites. But what they didn't know. Was when God says yes. They can move you from Michigan and bring you to Atlanta when God says yes. They can mess you up. They can twist you, turn you, crumple you. But when God says yes, there is something inside of you that always reminds you not to give up. Have you been blessed tonight? I want everybody to take a special offering. Special offering. I hope you've been blessed tonight. But this is when we say goodbye.